What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with another Warframe video and in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, mastery ranks, ranking up, and why it's important to progress your game uh, when you are playing Warframe. Now every so often in Warframe you'll notice you're going to have a mastery rank. If you hit uh, the start button or go into your menu you can check your mastery rank and you'll need to earn affinity points in order to progress that rank. And when you have it um, at the point where it's ready to progress it will start flashing and you'll be able to take what is called a rank up test. Now this rank up test will allow you to progress in rank and it's going to unlock a lot of different things for you in the game. Now the rank tests, um, there's kind of a different variety of ones that you can take. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to the wiki page for this so you guys can kind of read about the different tests that you have to take. And I'll also be doing individual rank up test videos uh, for my Warframe content as I go through so you'll be able to see some of them and maybe see some ways to get through them. I think I'm up to mastery rank uh, six so far in the game, but there are quite a few ranks you can go all the way up to 21 and uh, Every time you rank up you can get some different bonuses and some other things and it's very important to do your rank up test uh, Like I said, they can require you to do all kinds of different things. It could be just killing enemies uh, The first few are pretty easy like rank one is just killing enemies with your primary rank two is killing enemies with your secondary Rank three is killing enemies with your melee weapon and you have to do all this within a certain period of time. There's normally three ways with each way of getting progressively more difficult. And uh, they can be kind of frustrating at times, but the first few are, like I said, fairly easy. So it's pretty easy to get through the first couple of ranks and uh, at least get some nice benefits uh, from that. Now, as I said, you are going to get some, some cool stuff. Uh, when you hit rank one, uh, you're actually able to purchase more items from the market, uh, whether that's platinum or... Uh, actually buying the blueprints and making the items yourself which i strongly suggest you do it's really not that difficult to do that in this game but at rank one you're going to unlock um, a couple new weapons uh, whether it's primary secondary or melee rank two you'll actually unlock a new warframe the rhino warframe and you'll unlock a lot more blueprints uh, basically you progress all the way through rank seven you're going to unlock a ton of new weapons uh, that will be available for you to use and, uh, and purchase the blueprints for. So it's very important, like I said, to do these rank up tests and continue to unlock more gear and items you'll be able to buy. Because some of the better weapons and stuff are gonna be what's called XP locked until you get to a certain mastery rank. Uh, but once you, you get up through rank six and seven, you're gonna have the majority of the equipment and items unlocked in the game for, your, uh, for you to be able to purchase. So you should be in good shape. Uh, there are also some other benefits to going up on your mastery rank. Uh, you know, you'll be able to deploy more um, extractor drones when you complete an entire planet map. You, you get to deploy what's called an extractor, which allows you to pull more resources from that, those planets. Uh, you know, once you get past Master Rank 4, you'll get to have an additional drone. And then as you progress even further, you can have even more drones up to a total of, I believe, three uh, for each planet. I could be wrong on that. If someone has progressed to that point, please let me know. But I believe it's three maximum for each planet to help you get more uh, resources. You can also earn additional standing points with your syndicates, which is something I'll do a video on syndicates later on. Uh, once you get to rank two, you'll be able to unlock the trade system, which is important, especially if you're in a clan, you'll be able to trade items with people. And again, it's another way to avoid having to uh, buy things with real money. You can actually also trade for platinum, which is pretty cool. So if you want to acquire platinum without actually spending money on it, that's a good way. If you've got some better mods, you've leveled up and some other things you want to try to trade. Uh, you can definitely do that. Now, every, once you get past rank two, also, every time you um, rank up two more times, you'll get additional loadout slots um, for your arsenal, which is important because those normally cost platinum to unlock. And if you don't actually buy additional arsenal slots, sometimes you do have to delete weapons um, after you've ranked them to 30 in order to make room for new weapons. But if, uh, as you progress that mastery rank, you're going to unlock um, new slots to use for those weapons. You also are able to unlock better syndicate equipment, and uh, better research weapons if you have a Warframe lab or a lab on your uh, clan. And uh, helps you unlock more relays and things. So it's pretty cool. Once you get to Mastery Rank 12, you actually will also unlock some primary syndicate weapons, which you'll be able to, to use, and which are a little bit better. So uh, just basically a general overview of the Mastery Rank tests and why they're important to do in the game. Uh, like I said, definitely do those. And if you're having trouble with them, there's lots of guides on YouTube. There's lots of guides on uh, Google or the wiki, wherever you're looking that um, will help you get through these tests. As I said, some of them can be kind of complicated. The first couple are not really that bad and I'm going to be doing some video guides. Not really guides, I'll just be doing videos showing me as I'm going through these rank up tests. You guys can kind of see 
um, see what those encompass. So anyways, anyways guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope this has um, been informative with regards to Warframe. I hope these uh, videos are helping you guys out with your early progression in the game. As I said, do those rank-up tests. It's going to help you out. hope you get a lot more uh, stuff to use. And uh, just make your experience all that more enjoyable the higher up you progress in the rank system. So that's gonna that's uh, that's it, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, let me know down below. Feel free to leave a comment um, discussing anything in the video, especially if you're a veteran Warframe player and you have any other tips or things to add to this. It's always welcome. Uh, we're just trying to help out some newer players with the game, maybe some returning players who were frustrated and left the game and have recently come back and are trying it again. That's the, uh, the goal here of this video series is basically to help you guys enjoy Warframe a lot more because it is a free-to-play game. You don't have to spend any money on this game. And I do find it rather enjoyable for something I don't have to spend any money on. So having a really good time uh, playing the game. And I hope you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying the coverage of it. As I said, please let me uh, know down below. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you are ready to have a great week. Thanks as always for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Formidable performance. This test is now complete. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno.